guinea pig cupcakes. So we're just going to give a run over of the stuff. You need one pack of roughing or cupcake cups. You need some cups to measure your um, oil. One bowl, one spatula, one piece of licorice. You can one. use anything else though if you don't like licorice. Yeah. Um, a little bowl of marshmallows. We're going to use the white ones. But you can use the pink ones for blush on the cheeks if you like. We've got better crackers, um, cream cheese frosting, and we also have um, better crackers chocolate fudge icing. We also have one jug with 250ml of water in. Vegetable oil because we need 70ml of this. We have one better crackers devil food mix because we're daring like that. And we have one guinea pig for later. What the heck? Oh, another two things that we forgot to mention in the ingredients you'll need is just picked up these chocolate chips just to maybe give um, a bit of texture uh, and resemble hair from the little drops and um, banana and chips made by batters. So the main reason I got these was because one. I thought that these were the perfect guinea pig ear shape, even though on the side of the shrimps, I intend to turn them round and use them on the cake. And they taste good too. So. Mm. Okay, so first, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven. Um, it says 180 uh, or 160 for fan assisted ovens. So, the first thing you want to do is tip in all of your cake mix into your bowl. Now, um, just move all these. Okay, so um, we're just using a spatula for this because you don't really need to use anything like a whisk. Um, and we're going to add our water. And our oil. Just pour this into here. We can start mixing. Now that I've mixed up the cake batter, it should be a really nice consistency. If there are still some lumps in them, I know I said this last time with the pancakes, but with cakes, I don't think it really is too much to worry about. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, I forgot to mention in the beginning, um, I've got these. Um, like pastry bags um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon the mix into these bags so it'll make it easier for putting them into the cake liners nice and neatly. It is good if you can get somebody to help you with this like hold the bag while you tip the mix in but if you don't grab a pint glass and pop your, um, your uh, pastry bag over it so you can um, spoon the mix into here. You can do that now. Okay, so once your bag is all done, you want to push it all down and you want to be really careful because you don't want any of the mix coming out of the top of your cake bag. So yeah, you just want to push it down. If it gets a bit messy on the end, just get some kitchen roll. And then once you've pushed it all down, you want to make a lip at the top. And twist it like this to seal it so that we can start piping it in right okay so you want to grab a pair of scissors and you just want to snip the end off of your bag be careful because you are squeezing the bottom and it might come out the top you want to pre-put your cups onto a tray you don't have to use square ones you can use the circle ones and um, we're just going to start filling these up Right now we're ready to put the guinea pigs in the oven. No, I'm joking. <laughs> right, we're gonna put 
these um, into the oven. Remember we preheated it earlier so it should be warm enough now to pop these in. So we'll just open this. Okay, so while we're waiting for the cakes to bake, we'll prepare the decorations for the guinea pig cupcakes. So you need a shopping board or a clean cuttable surface and you need a knife. If you're underage, ask an adult please to help you because, um, you know, you don't want to be um, well, having any accidents, that's for sure. You need another one. Mm. Right, okay, so this thing we're going to do. We're going to take our licorice and we're going to put it into the shape of our eyes. Now luckily this is in kind of the right shape really for guinea pig eyes so I'm just going to cut it maybe about this much. take our marshmallows and we're going to cut them in half too because then once we take these and we take this and we put them together we'll have a guinea pig eye well hopefully anyway it's probably going to be like looks like, like some kind of mutant guinea pig because it'll probably end up being way too oh no it fell off way too big for its head and then you want your shrimps ready for the ears. Uh, we're also going to use the little pink ones as noses for the guinea pigs. So again, just cut those in half like this. And you should start to see guinea pig faces like this. Ta -da. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so the oven is beeping away and it's time to get the guinea pig cupcakes out. So to check that your cakes are cooked, you can grab a cocktail stick and all you want to do is you just want to pop it in the middle, pull it out if the cocktail stick is clean, your cake is perfectly cooked down to the middle. If it's not and you've got some um, cake mix that's still gooey, like this one I'm yet to put in, um, then put it back in for a few more minutes and then retest it again. Okay? So now we're going to let these cool and then we're going to de de decorate them after. Okay, so now that our cakes have cooled, um, I went and put the cream cheese and the um, fudge frosting into two piping bags. You don't have to put them in piping bags if you don't have one. Um, if you did want to use a piping bag, there are tutorials online where you can make them out of greaseproof paper. But if you don't, you can always just use a um, pellet knife or you can use just an you know, ordinary cutlery knife to decorate cakes. So, and if you haven't got any fancy tips, you can just do it plain like this. So. The guinea pigs come in all sorts of colours, like, but today we're going to do blonde guinea pigs and brown guinea pigs. You can mix both if you want. So yeah, I'm just going to decorate these for you now. want to do, you want to take the faces that you made earlier and you want to start putting your little embellishment pieces 
onto your cake and slowly your little guinea pig cupcakes will come to life. Or oh, looks like they're like, like mutated guinea pig aliens. Um there's no nails on. Oh and I forgot to say I did find some um sprinkles earlier. So if you're really careful and you put the sprinkles in the right places, you can actually make a little guinea pig mouth. So we, there we go. See? Should look something like that. And I'll just finish the other three and I'll just show you. Ta da! My guinea pig cupcakes are finished. This is how they look. And I'm pretty happy with them. They don't look quite as mutant as I actually thought they might look. And I'm really happy with them. And as you can see, this is an Abyssinian guinea pig. He's got crazy hair at the top. I even put whiskers. You don't have to put on every one of them, but this one's got little flicks at the top with sprinkles. And this one's got little, you know, little fluffy cheeks. So each guinea pig can be made with its own character and personality and these are really perfect for parties or birthday or just generally as a bit of fun to do during the summer holidays and when you have free time so yeah if you make our guinea pig weekly cupcakes be sure to let us know send us a message please like and subscribe for more videos Oh, hello! I'm so cute! I'm going to be in the video. Fun. These ones are a bit sloppy, but it's totally fine because I'll just eat the side. Don't do this when you're at home. Or actually, you could, but don't tell your mum.